Good morning, welcome back to Casa Texpina. We're on bill day number 130. It is Saturday morning and that means payday. You guys are loving it. Uh, they're already, uh, all of them hard at work. Um, we're securing the bottoms of the fiber cement board that's uh, wall cladding that's already been installed on the outside. Uh, continuing with plaster coating in the uh, front porch. Um, above the office door that we just installed the door frame on yesterday and they're still continuing with plaster coating inside the media room up in the attic uh, floor space um, also uh, still constructing the uh, fence line uh, next to the neighbor and probably the biggest thing that's going to be of interest today is um, the kitchen countertop construct her foreman is taking the lead on that one and uh, they're putting in the um, rebar dowels they're uh, drilling into the the wall putting in rebar dowels to ho help hold up the uh, concrete countertop uh, that they're going to place there um, they're working on that this morning um, i'll show you that as we start walking around here momentarily uh, the welders are here as well uh, no more fence uh, grates today no more fence grills today uh, but they are still continuing with the um, long welds on the bracing uh, that they're putting in for the attic flooring uh, so the, all the uh, the steel floor framing that they've been putting in now they're going back and putting in the um, the braces and doing long welds at the same time so it's going to be very secure very strong i'm ecstatic about how how strong that uh that floor is um, i was speaking with the engineer yesterday and he he did mention he says this is the first time he's ever done one uh, for a full full floor uh, attic floor, and I would probably guess this is probably the first one that's been done in the Philippines. I haven't seen them on any other of the vlogs, um, which doesn't mean they haven't been done. It just hasn't been documented well. Um, so we're doing something first here. I like it. Um, all right, um, let's go ahead and get uh, walking around, show you where everybody's at, and let's get started. first off starting first thing in the morning spider-man mr jonah is up on top <laughs> he's doing the uh, pla uh the uh, painting for all the trusses and purlins up there make sure our metal is uh protected um got mr jerome here in the middle and they're uh, hauling mortar out to the different locations um like i said everywhere that's got plaster coat going on those guys are are moving mortar for them um and around here in the front you see in the front porch area about all you're gonna see is mr. Jojo's shorts uh, but he's up on scaffolding and working the uh, plaster coating for the inside of the front porch entry um, up here you see mr. Maravik one of the welders and they're continuing to work their way around with the steel floor framing uh, doing extensions on the um the floor joists as well as um going back behind and doing the um long welds for the bracing that they put in yesterday over here on the corner uh mr allen and mr alex are going back behind uh what they've done so far with all of the wall cladding uh the fiber cement board wall cladding and they're putting screws in and securing the bottoms of all of that cladding uh, so that's all going to be very well secured uh, they'll go back over all those uh, nails and screw holes with uh, um, skim coat uh, before all this gets painted uh, let's go ahead and cruise inside and see where folks are at inside the house okay coming in the main door first thing off to the left is Mr. Jericho doing uh, plaster coating um, above the office and Mr. Ramirez is uh, his uh, co-worker bringing his uh, mortar in making sure he's got enough mortar to do all the plaster coat operation and over here in the kitchen area as I said our, mo our foreman is taking the lead on doing the uh, dowels for the uh, concrete countertop that we're gonna have here. Um, 
Now remember, the concrete is typically just for uh, supporting the granite countertop. This is a uh, standard production in the Philippines. Uh, they build the, uh, the, the rough outline of the countertop, all concrete, so it's hollow block and concrete top. And then they'll come back over and, and make it nice from there. They'll put a, a sheeting over the top, uh, whether it be wood or fiber cement board, and uh, the granite countertops up above it. So that way it's all strong, secured, it's not going anywhere. All right, let's take a look upstairs, see what people are doing up there. All right, coming up the top of the staircase here in the, the media room. Good morning, Mr. Joel is over here. He's gonna continue plaster coating on this side. We got Mr. Ben getting started with plaster coating inside of the uh, half bath up here in the media room. Mr. Pablo and Mr. Dom are our mortar mixers today. And Mr. Wilson is plaster coating uh, this particular wall so that's where all the operations are let me go back outside to the back and show you where folks are at on the fence line out here on the uh, patio our uh, electrician is doing us a bit doing the uh, air conditioning guys a big favor uh, we're extending the um, drain lines for the condensation units that are going to be placed up here at a later point uh, so they came down here and terminated but they didn't realize that we were going to be doing a, a, a large patio and sidewalk so they terminated really close to the wall um, our electrician guys doing them a big favor uh, connecting the uh, conduit since it's both it's just conduit anyway the same type pipe uh, blue pipe orange pipe it's almost the same um, and we're getting those uh, drain line connections outside of the concrete area so that when they connect the um, the catch basin for all of the they're going to connect the catch basins for all of the downspouts from the uh, roof line from the gutter the hidden gutter system uh, what they're going to do is run that along the side and they're going to connect all of these um, all of these condensation drain lines into those catch basins so it'll all drain out to the uh, to the storm drain. Now then, back here on the uh, fence line, <clears throat> we're cruising right along. First thing Mr. Carlito did this morning, he and Mr. Marvin uh, down at the end, they came in and added in the um, added in the tie rod, so that all of this uh, wall is a little bit more secure. Um, and they're continuing on. They've already removed the forms from yesterday and chipped it out so when they get ready to do the plaster coating, it'll have something to adhere to. Again, later on today, they are gonna figure out how to connect these two pieces um, because this wall is about four to five inches more our side than the wall was headed going the other direction. So they're probably in my guess, they're gonna knock out a couple of these blocks, maybe all the way back to the column and redirect to where it lines up with these uh, blocks here that we've, we're putting in. Again, say, uh, reason why they're putting in the tie rods, you wanna make sure it's strong so that it doesn't wiggle and bend like our neighbor's fence here wiggles and bends. Okay, and excuse me, sir, I'm getting out of the way so these guys can get back to work. Well, folks, it's uh, Saturday, and that means shout-outs for the new subscribers and those that have uh, chosen to share with us where their locations are so we can say thank you for um, giving, making comments, being participating in this, uh, uh, in this channel and this experience with us. Um, so did, I'm gonna break it in half. I've got quite a few again um, So I'm gonna break it in half. We'll catch the all, all the state sides this morning and catch the uh, overseas guys this afternoon um, So this morning starting off we've got Dan and Christy Canton from Hotlanta, Georgia <clears throat> and uh, Dan Kunanen from California um, originally from nearby here San Fernando uh, Jay's journey out of Connecticut. Thank you, sir. Uh, Julian Green from Florida. Make sure you say hi to your dad and your grandma for us, okay? Um, Layla Hosan from Idaho. Um, that's one of my uh, sister-in-law's uh, sisters that lives in the States. Um, the Johnson family 
Rose, Tim, and TJ from Maryland, and Daniel Beyer from Ohio, <clears throat> and last, Richard from Texas. Um, so thank you guys again for uh, subscribing. Thank you for tuning in and being part of our experience here. Uh, comments, questions, suggestions, the whole Q&A process is all very welcome here. Please uh, keep the comments and suggestions positive and we'll get back to you as soon as we can find a response and even just to say thank you. All right. So the initial rebar and form work has been done for the kitchen cabinet countertop. I'm oh, sorry, the kitchen countertop <laughs> concrete area. Um, this is what it's going to look like. We're going to measure this. I believe we're going to, because what they're going to do is um, they'll leave this out. So we've got to measure this to, we got to measure the opening uh, to make sure that our sink is going to fit. If not, we, they, we can always um, have them chip out and cut out the additional uh, to make the, the placement of the sink. So again, this is kind of like standard practice here. Uh, they make the uh, countertops very strong because the, uh, the granite that they put on top or the granite as they call it here in the Philippines is uh, very heavy. So. All right, we're back at our big box store here locally in Daou, uh, the Wilcon, um, with the kitchen countertop uh, being put in. Uh, we want to go check and see about a sink type that we're going to put in there. Uh, Miss Emmy wants to see if she can find one that's a, a white porcelain type uh, or just some kind of a white sink uh, to match the color style that we're going to have inside the, uh, inside the kitchen area. So we're going to take a look and see what we can find. Okay, so we found the, uh, so we found the, the sink aisle. Um, we have a, the enamel coated stainless steel stink sinks um, and if you can see the price tag I may have had a, a, a Freudian slip there where um, the the price tag for these is significantly higher than your average sink um, the one that the engineer is actually looking at putting in for us are these stainless steel stink, uh, sinks and he's talking about a double uh, a double sink something similar to this down here and you can see the price tag on it but i'd rather have a large single me personally and i like the undermounts uh so we're looking at this price tag but i don't know i gotta ask miss emmy since it's going to be the kitchen that she wants what would you like to have Huh? I don't like undermount the way they do it here. It's not like that. Oh. Have you seen the way? Uh, I've seen some where they do the undermount and um, the gap here on the side is very thick. So it's not mounted properly. But that's just a matter of watching the install to make sure that they do it properly, I think. Okay. No? Yeah. Uh, I think it's just a matter of watching the install, make sure they do it properly. Um, I like the, the single large yeah. as opposed to the small two, two the small double. Yeah. I like the what would you like? I like you like the double? Mm -hmm. So you got a clean water and a soapy water kind of thing? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. You see? That's why she's the boss. She thinks of things like that. All right, we're gonna look around some more. I believe we are gonna go look at a, one or two other uh, locations as well. So Miss Emmy likes this one. Double sink, same size. Uh, the dimensions are a little bit bigger than what we have at the, the house, so they would have to chip out the um, countertop a little bit to make it fit. Shouldn't be a problem though. Well, while we were out for lunch, the uh, guys did the pour of the concrete on the kitchen countertops here this is all poured notice they do do a, uh, a broom finish so that um, when they go to put the tile adhesive or uh, down for the uh, granite countertop it'll adhere 
And if the sink that we get is actually larger than this, um, we'll just be able to grind it and cut it out um, as, as needed. A couple of uh, additional holes in the back for the plumbers, just in case they need it. All right, we're starting to work on the uh, back fence here. We're actually starting to get above the neighbor's uh, fence line that he's got on the side. So, but we're going to continue going up until it's the same height as the uh, fence over here. And it's just going to continue the same elevation all the way across. All right, and over here, Mr. Jericho is continuing to work the uh, door frame and the plaster coating here for the office. Uh, so we're filling in the, uh, the edges of the, the doors here with uh, mortar one plop at a time and we'll get it till it all fills up make it nice hard and smooth and up above the uh, guest room side of the house the uh, welders are starting to work the um, floor joists working their way down working their way down this way um, almost looks like they're starting to work from that end coming this way but either way they'll get connected here shortly all right up here in the media room still got lots of plaster coating going on looks like uh, Mr. Wilson finished the plastic coating around this corner and we're starting to work. He finished this one there this morning, working our way into the dormer window now. Over here on this side of the house, this side of the room, Mr. Joel is doing the smooth finish over the plastic coating that he did on the column here. and. Mr. Ben is hanging out in the bathroom. What was that old song? Smoking in the boys' room. <laughs> so yes, from the uh, top of the stairs, or the, mid the landing on the stairs here in the middle, you can see the uh, welders are still working the um, floor trusses here. And they're going to continue working those uh, over the guest bedroom side and they'll uh, line those up with the ones that were over the entrance and foyer area and in the uh, front entrance porchway front entryway porch the uh, mr jojo here is cornering the archways making sure that the arches are nice and got smooth finish on the corners okay coming on out Big cat, Mr. Romy found him a shady spot to start doing some more uh, plaster coating over here. Now we moved over to the inside of the fence line. And I was telling you guys earlier, or showing you guys earlier, the uh, carpenters have been going back and securing the bottoms of all of this uh, wall cladding. So the fiber cement board wall cladding has been secured both top and bottom. So they're coming back in and securing them here. Drilling the holes, pushing the, pushing the nails through. It's pilot hole, smaller size. Nail, a little bit bigger. You can get them into place. So these are all going to be secured. They're not flying off anywhere. Looking good on this side.
right, so as the guys are wrapping up today, I'm um, getting ready to head out. Um, I'm gonna go around and see what's uh, been accomplished so far this week. This entire wall, start to finish, has been done this week. Um, the only piece remaining is this last section here that we're gonna do connection from the four inch block over to the five inch block and connect it into the remainder of the fence line. Um, I believe we are up to height, uh, top height on the back, back stretch of it here. Uh, we'll take a look at this again next week on starting on Monday. Earlier this week, we had the mark out and layout for the uh, back patio with the walkway that's gonna go into the garage. Also later on, there will be, uh, as the landscaping comes through, there's going to be steps, uh, just stone steps that'll come around the corner here uh, because back here, we're going to have our water filtration uh, pressure pump and uh, water filtration system are gonna be back here as well. Inside the house, we got the uh, kitchen countertop constructed today. Started on it yesterday. We got the uh, concrete poured today. We'll take a look at the again at that again on Monday and see how that comes along. Uh, we got some more. We got a new door frame in. That's the door frame for the um, office, the French door. Um, Mr. Jericho is doing plaster coating on it, making sure we got the uh, the sides of it all filled in. So those are rough filled at the moment, and then they'll clean that up again on Monday. Out here in the front porch, we did started arches last week, and this week we finished the arches and did the um, rendering or the plaster coating on all sides, inside and out, and rough coat around the top. Also, all of the stone coating, oh, stone clad coating, stone cladding, blah, 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 blah. stone cladding got finished uh, this week. And we started working some more on the fiber cement board wall cladding. We also got in more of our fence grills and they are looking fantastic. I believe this is going to be a good look. We just need to get the uh, paint scheme figured out. And Mr. Romy and crew have been working all week to plaster coat all around the outside edge. And they're now working on the inside as well. Let's go take a look upstairs. Okay. Upstairs. We got... Quite a bit of plaster coating done today, this week. All of this area was not plaster coated this week, uh, uh, last week. So when we started on Monday, we started over here and these guys have steadily worked their way around. Our media room now has plaster coating almost all the way around. We're still working on the staircase eventually and we're still working in the um, half bath. Over here, Mr. Wilson is wrapping up on the plaster coating and smoothing it out for the uh, dormer window section. And of course, the most impressive thing for me this week was being able to walk out into my attic space. We have the steel floor framing with bracing, able to withstand well over my uh my small 230 pound frame <laughs> small 230 pound frame um they have actually turned the corner uh going down around the edge i'm not going to walk it out yet but they did turn the corner and go around they are halfway down that side uh and starting from the guest rooms and coming back towards it and we'll see those uh completions next week so a funny thing happened while we were at lunch today, I thought it was very um, coincidental that it should happen two weeks in a row that we pass a major milestone for subscribers. Um, this week, today, when Emmy and I went to lunch, 
I was looking at, at the, uh, the subscription uh, numbers on YouTube and it showed that we passed 700 subscribers today. Um, couldn't have done it without you guys' help and with y'all's help I'd also be able to, I'd like to be able to uh, do a couple shout outs for the people that have uh, been asking questions, been interacting, uh, helping this channel grow and helping me uh, catch things with different que question and answer sessions as well. Um, so for the overseas crews that uh, of subscribers, thank you folks and we're going to start from the top and go Daura Sukama. I'm sorry if I butchered your name. Daura Sukama uh, from London. Uh, Jodel De Leon from Kubayao Laguna. Rowena Lee Grinley from Palasai, Batangas. Ramon Rogel from Calamba City, Laguna. Randolph Amon from Zambales. Steve Young from Ottawa, Canada. And last but not least, Yoj TV, just under the wire, brother, and for coming in from Dubai. Uh, again, thank you guys and gals. Thank everyone for the uh, great support. Thank you for uh, sending in the comments, suggestions, and most of all, thank you for subscribing. Um, that's been a good push this week. Uh, of all the events and things that have gone on, all the construction, we've made major leaps uh, with progress this week. Um, so if you guys will join us, we will be back on Monday for more of this lovely construction here in the Philippines of how we're doing Philippine house building experience, Casa Tex Pina style. If y'all like today's video, please give us a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of these videos, hit the Casa Tex Pina star right over here and you'll be subscribed. Hit the bell icon just below the view screen. You'll be notified of our next video upload for your viewing pleasure. So until we see you again on Monday, have a great weekend and God bless.